Good morning. Welcome to Daily Journal Newsbreak, sponsored by Renaissance Bank. Today is Monday, September 17th, and I'm your host, Elizabeth Walters. We're going to take a look at today's top news and sports stories across Northeast Mississippi, but first, we'll take a look at your weather forecast. Today, we'll have sunny skies with a high of 92, and tonight's low will be around 69. And over the next three days, on Tuesday, we'll have sunny skies with a high of 93 and a low of 69. On Wednesday, mostly sunny skies with a high of 94 and a low of 71. And on Thursday, mostly sunny with a high of 94 and a low of 72. And now for a look at today's top headlines. And following a story we exclusively reported last week, some local food truck owners and their allies are expressing concern about the possible regulations under discussion by Tupelo City Hall. Mayor Jason Shelton's administration uh, may draft an ordinance that would ban food trucks from parking alongside public roads classified as major thoroughfares. This would include commercial corridors like Gloucester and Main Streets. And while COO Don Lewis provided these details, he said no ordinance has been completed and the final details are not known. When interviewed by the journal, several food truck owners said they could suffer if the early proposals become reality. And this is after City Hall hosted public comment sessions earlier this year. Kirk McClellan, who owns Local Mobile, said that based on those sessions, he's surprised by the rules that are now under consideration. And Mayor Shelton has voiced opposition to food truck regulations, but will offer an ordinance to comply with the City Council's wishes. And you can read more about this, as well as business reporter Dennis Sides' opinion at djournal.com. And approaching the six-month review mark, the downtown Go Cup district looks likely to remain in place. And this was approved by a four to three vote back in March, and it allows alcoholic beverages to be carried out of bars and restaurants in plastic cups and consumed outdoors during posted hours. Mayor Shelton's administration presented the city council with a handful of department heads and downtown business owners to offer firsthand accounts and answer questions. Representatives of several restaurants reported positive or neutral experiences connected to the downtown leisure district. And while Tupelo police said they have not had an issue with the ordinance. COO Don Lewis said that the administration does not plan to request any revisions to the ordinance and said they are satisfied with the way it's working. And there are now seven states, including Mississippi, where obese adults make up 35 percent or more of the population. Mississippi came in with 37.3 percent of adults with a, boss, with a body mass index of 30 or higher, and that's second to West Virginia. And only two states, Colorado and Hawaii, along with the District of Columbia, have obesity rates less than 25%. John Hall, who's the director of the Mississippi Center for Obesity Research, said that the trends for severe obesity are even more alarming and it's increasing rapidly. And while there are surgeries that are effective at putting diabetes and hypertension into remission, Medicaid does not cover in Mississippi, and Blue Cross Blue Shield of Mississippi does not cover the procedures and its commercially available product. The Centers for Disease Control report is based on self-reported height and weight through phone surveys in 2017. And in sports, Mississippi State is now ranked 14th in both major polls after defeating Louisiana Lafayette over the weekend, and now the Bulldogs prepare to enter SEC play at Kentucky. Both the Bulldogs and Wildcats enter the game undefeated, and State has won eight of the last nine in the series, including a 45-7 win in Startville last season. And that win, Nick Fitzgerald completed 69% of its passes, rushed for 115 yards, and accounted for three touchdowns. So far this season, the Bulldogs are averaging 588 yards, 50 points per game on offense, and they've only allowed two touchdowns on defense in the first three games. Kentucky is coming off of a 48-10 win over Murray State last week, and they have notably already defeated Florida this season. The Wildcats featured SEC's second leading rusher in Benny Snell Jr. And that'll do it for Newsbreak on this Monday. Don't forget that this show is one of the many online offerings courtesy of the Daily Journal that gets you news off the page and on the go. And each story discussed on Newsbreak can be found in your da Daily Journal or online at djournal.com, where you can find a new episode of Newsbreak each weekday morning. Thanks for joining us. I'm Elizabeth Walters. Have a great day.